Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day four. Things are rolling on beautifully at the Noosa Festival of Surfing. This is on point for the Noosa Festival and we'll be telling you everything that's going on through the day. It's an amazing day of competition in the surf. We have the old male, we have some of the senior divisions and also the ladies are taking to the water for the first of the high performance. So that's gonna be very exciting. Lots of action in the water and it's also locals day. We caught up with Dane Wilson to tell us about what's going on. Okay, three o'clock the Savo. We're getting all the local groms from the Mal Club, the Nippers Club, and the Board Riders Club. And we're all gonna get together and play some fun games on the beach. And then all the parents get discounted drinks. We're gonna design a surf comp called the Closeout Classic. So it should be fun. Uh, we'll make up the rules as we go, as usual. And um, yeah, all the kids will have fun. Weekend long, Hydro Flask was supporting the junior divisions and it's great to have Dave Byrne and the Hydro Flask crew here. And uh, Dane Wilson is hosting the Closeout Classic, which is gonna be an amazing event uh, happening later on today. After that, Mitch Peterson will be screening his short film called Mimpi, which is the Indonesian for dream. We'll be screening that in the beach bar. Here's a little teaser for you. So plenty of action in the water today, obviously, but also this evening, we've got lots going on. Deus is hosting its Tattoos and Tacos Tuesday. So it's gonna be a great fun event. Make sure you get there really bright and early if you wanna get some fresh ink. And then we also have Salty Brains. Salty Brains is the trivia night in aid of Surfers for Climate. We caught up with Belinda Bags, co-founder of Surfers for Climate, to discuss what's happening at the Salty Brains Trivia Night. So really surfers just want to get together and have a fun time. <laughs> That's sort of the centre of what we do, is like we play in the ocean and we hang out and we have a great time and, and, you know, we don't want to change that and there's no reason that you need to change that in order to take, you know, whether it be climate action or protection of your local break, it just sometimes means turning up. And so the car park cinemas are really formulated to gather surfers in a, in a, um, a setting where everyone feels comfortable and something that we can all get together and enjoy and providing a little bit of extra insight or a little bit of extra information or ways where people can take action to step up and, like, really making sure that, um, environmentalism or climate action isn't a threatening space or a space where you feel guilty. It's more of a positive thing where we can get together and we can actually all make a difference in our own backyard and across the planet um, through taking simple, easy actions. And speaking of, um, of surfers getting together and sharing messages, the uh, Salty Brains Trivia Nights have just been a roaring success, like up and down the coast. I think you've got four or five different venues up and down the coast running uh, that ran Salty Brains Trivia Nights um, through last year. And then, of course, coming to the Noosa Festival as well. Um, it's a it's a kind of multidimensional thing. Obviously, it's getting surfers together and, you know, talking story, having some fun, having a few drinks and that sort of thing. But there's also a, a pretty strong message about it. Um, what do you see as the as the kind of structure and the uh, and the message behind the Salty Brains Night? Yeah, trivia is so fun. Um, I think it's, you know, it, it, it is uh, following that notion of just getting together and having fun again, um, probably a little bit more of a lighter touch, a little bit less heavy information, but just a really easy place for people to come along and um, learn a little bit deeper about 
the ocean environment, about the marine ecology and, of course, um, climate change and that not all that has to be negative. Sometimes the questions in there are actually super positive and inspiring and they're sandwiched in between, um, you know, questions about your favourite surf stars or surf breaks or, or surf culture. And so it's sort of a way to really nicely mesh um, this culture that we've all all been a part of creating over the decades with meaningful things that we should all know about our ocean, whether that be the animals or the climate or the weather systems and just how intertwined all that really is. Now, you're coming up to Noosa and obviously you're going to be sharing the uh, the Surface for Climate message in a, in a few different formats. Um, for those that don't know, um, what uh, what is the purpose, or what what was your um, your initial concept with with creating Surfers for Climate? Yeah, so Surfers for Climate is a sea roots movement dedicated to positive climate action, so we can all ride waves in thriving oceans for generations to come. And uh, it was founded a couple of years ago by myself and my friend Johnny Abeg, who's also an amazing goofy foot surfer. Um, and it was all because we'd attended a climate summit on Heron Island and all these climate impacts that we'd already been experiencing were getting broken down to us and explained. And we realised that something needed to be done and that surfers every day are uh, are on the forefront of experiencing these impacts. And they might be minor. It might just be, you know, erosion at your local beach or it might be a change in marine ecology or it could be a marine heat wave. Um, but we're feeling these things every single time we go into the ocean and it's affecting our experiences in the ocean as well, whether that be, you know, water quality to sandbars to, you know, literal movement um, of those reefs that we're surfing over to coral bleaching. Like there's a whole array of things that it's affecting. Um, and we thought, well, you know, if if everybody knew this information that we know, like they'd want to, you know, all get together and do something about it and what better um group of people to lead climate action and surfers. This has been On Point at the Noosa Festival of Surfing. We had a fantastic first weekend. One of the dynamic events was the Teams Challenge hosted by World Safaris, and we will leave you with some of the amazing footage.